Hey guys, this is JT from DogLegDiscGolf.com. It's been a little while, but I'm back. Uh, very excited today because we're going to be taking the first look at Prodigy's new BP1 version 2 backpack. All right, so let's open it up and take a look. We've got two backpacks in here. This first one we're going to be doing BP1 version 2, like I said, and then we're going to be doing a second review for the BP2. All right, check this out. So as you're unboxing this and pulling off the wrapper, you're going to notice that obviously the bag is very flapped. So let's open it up. Obviously, you know, for shipping reasons, it's going to come flat. Uh, so there's a little bit of setup involved. Um, it does have these hard plastic panels that it comes with um, that does require a little bit of installation on your part. I'm not going to bore you guys with the details. Uh, you can go online to Prodigy's website. There's a sheet that this comes with that has the URL on there. Uh, Will Schustrix is already on there. He does an awesome video of how to install it. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to bore you with that. You guys can go online, check that out. So um, I'm going to assemble it super quick off camera. I'll come right back on and uh, we'll continue the review. All right, here we go. The Prodigy BP1 version two. As you can see, it's a lot more rigid now. Finally got all of the paneling in, supportive paneling. Um, like I said, I was going to do it off camera, but maybe I'll just speed up through what you guys just saw on camera. Um, there is a little, di little difficulty involved, but don't worry. Uh, once you put it in there the first time, um, like I said, it's worth the five, ten minutes, whatever it takes to get it in there. But you don't have to touch it again. You don't have to take them back out. Uh, but, you know, now the backpack actually has the form to it. Um, it's very sturdy paneling. Like I said, it's, it's a tight fit in there. Um, just work with it. Don't give up. But like I said, you do it once. You don't have to worry about it again. Okay, so let's get to the actual review. Let's check this out. First thing I want to talk about is how lightweight this is. Now I know it's empty, uh, but this is, uh, according to the website, it's only four pounds. Um, it is about a pound or so lighter than the version one that's been out for a while. Um, so there you go. Before you put any disc in there, it is a little bit lighter. Uh, it's going to come in handy once you start putting in all that extra weight. Um, the other thing, and we'll start putting some disc in in a minute, um, it does say that it's supposed to hold up to 34 drivers. So you've got a very large compartment down here. Uh, 34 drivers, including the side pockets, which we'll look at in a minute. Um, now that's 34 total disc in the whole thing. Um, down here in the main compartment, it's supposed to be 24 drivers. Uh, but you do have the putter pocket. Let's open up this top little flap. Um, very large putter pocket right there. Looks like it's pretty deep, so it'll fit in pretty well. On the inside of the flap, flipping it up, you have another little compartment for goods. Let's lift that back up. So let's look at the sides. One of the things um, that they were really pressing, the new things, they do have new reinforced zippers. Uh, the little zipper pulls here makes it much easier to open and close it. They do have reinforced waterproof zipper uh, paneling here. Let's go ahead and zip it up. So notice no zipper, or the, the track is actually completely hidden. Um, so very solid all the way through, so guaranteed no water is going to get in here. So that's great. Another thing, they have uh, re reinforced side panels that we just looked at. There's also stabilizing rods here in the top. Um, so this bar that goes across here is a steel rod. So again, just giving it that extra stability uh, helps keep it open so the backpack doesn't you know, fold in. And I believe there's, yeah, there's up underneath uh, at the top and the back, there's also a rod. So you've got the one in the front and then one in the back. 
We also have the umbrella sleeve, which currently don't have an umbrella to show you guys, but uh, up here at the top, they did bring back the umbrella sleeve so that you can stick one down all the way in that pocket. We've got big pockets back here on the sides for drinks. Wish I had some Gatorades or I could show you guys, uh, but if you have big water bottles, um, or you could put two, you know, or one 32 ounce Gatorade in each of these side pockets. So very large uh, to keep it there. Um, you do have the little front pockets that are right in front of it. The one thing that's really cool about these, this new, um, these are magnetic clothes. So, so no Velcro, you don't have to worry about dirt or anything like that getting stuck in it. Uh, no zipper, so just quick access. But there is a little magnet in each of these flaps uh, that closes down. So, you know, if you want to put your phone or scorecard or, you know, any, anything like that that you need to, or your keys, that you need to quick access, uh, you could do that on either side. So that's a pretty cool feature. I've never seen that before. Also, uh, one thing that this backpack has is the expandable side pockets. So let's look at that. So you do have a zipper here that opens these up, a uh, good bit of storage. You know, you could probably fold up a long sleeve t-shirt or a jacket or something like that to fit in these. But if you needed more room, there is the expandable thing that's new. So there's an extra zipper right here on the back. You guys can see that. So we're gonna unzip that all the way around and the pocket pops out. Notice that you get about an extra two inches of storage here, which is really cool. And it does that for both sides too. So you've got the little expandable pocket. Here, unzip that. Notice this pops out. Gives you that extra storage that you need. And then you can open the pocket. Same pocket on both sides. Um, it does have a little mini pocket up here at the you guys can see that up here at the top uh, to put little keys um, or you know money or wh whatever wallet in that little area and then you've got the bigger pocket obviously down here you know the, the large pocket on the sides so let's see how many discs we can start fitting in here all right guys now let's do the capacity test actually 24 on this inner the main compartment uh, i've got a stack of drivers here mostly prodigy stuff uh there might be a couple mid ranges in here uh, but anyway we're going to try to put all these in here i'm going to put them in four at a time and we'll count them out and see how many we can actually fit the first four i'm going to turn this so you guys can see there's eight twelve Sixteen, twenty. We're starting to get a little close over here. Twenty. All right, so that would be twenty-four. Obviously, you can see I can't quite get these all the way down. But keep in mind too, this is a brand new bag. Uh, everything's going to be a little bit tighter. Um, I'm not saying it couldn't uh, potentially hold 24 at some point um, I just don't see how it'll hold 24 at the beginning um, especially brand new so let's take two of these out that way we've got 22 here in the middle um, you know as you can see I'm still kind of pull these apart so I still get my finger in there you know to pull one out um, like I said you're not gonna want them in there so tight it's, it's very difficult to pull one out you want to be able to grab them and go um, so for right now out of the box I'm saying 22 now let's try the putter pocket up at the top. Now it says that it holds four, so I'm gonna put these in one by one. So go. One, and again, very deep pocket up top. Two, three, and four. Four fits very comfortably up there at the top. Um, there's a little bit of room. I don't know if there'd be enough room for a fifth putter, uh, but I never carry that many putters to start with, uh, so four is plenty for me. And you still got a little room on the side uh, that you still could possibly put in, like a birdie bag or you know something um, to tuck it in there with it. So we've got 22 here. We've got four on top. Uh, again, you still have the side pockets. So I've got a couple more discs. So 
Let's try. We'll start with three. I do have this expanded from earlier, so we've got that extra two inches of space. So three fits very comfortably in the side. And another three on this side. And honestly, you probably have room for uh, at least one more. So just for sake of review, let's just pull one or two from here. So you can see you can fit four pretty easily there on the side and say four, four on this one too. So let's say we have the 22 through the middle and you've got four here, four here. That's 30 disc plus your four putters on the top. So, you know, we're looking at 34 discs there. So pretty awesome. Um, you know, people that play in tournaments obviously carry, you know, a lot more than I do. Um, you know, but I, I try to keep mine around 20. So, I mean, obviously this carries way more discs uh, than I typically carry around. So this would be a great bag out on the course, you know, especially for tournaments. Um, that's great. Um, you know, not too, too heavy. We've got, uh, I think I forgot to mention this earlier, but we've got padded backpack straps and the little handle pull too. So, uh, you know, if you're carrying this around, you know, out there on the course and you set it down to throw, um, you know, very easy for the handle pull to lift up on that and pick up your bag and go. Um, got the padded back here. Also, down here on the bottom, we do have these rails. Uh, so that way, it'll prevent that wear and tear so quickly on the bottom of bags that you see a lot. Um, also, you know, if the, the ground is damp or, you know, whatever it may be, it's going to help protect the bottom of the bag um, and also help it prevent from water touching the bottom directly and absorbing, you know, into the bag. So uh, kind of the reinforced rails here, um, hard plastic there. So I really like that. So let's try it on. Actually, kind of surprisingly, not near as heavy as I thought it would be. Front will strap there. Fits comfortably on the back. You can definitely feel the padded back and the padded straps. That helps a lot. Pretty cool bag from Prodigy. Love their brand. They're based right here in Georgia. Um, I'm here in Georgia as well. So, very cool bag. It's got the little Prodigy stamp, says it's made right there in Georgia as well. All right, guys, so there you have it. The Prodigy BP1 version two goes on sale October 23rd. That's coming up this Tuesday, get you one. Um, just for our viewers, check out aviandisksports.com. Go there. I know this retails for 150, but you might even be able to find it a little bit cheaper. Uh, just from your friends at Dogleg Disc Golf and Avian Disc Sports. Once again, I'm JT from DogLegDiscGolf.com. Check it out on AvianDiscSports.com. The link is in the bio. Thanks, guys. Till next time.